Uh, left foot, what should it look like in front? Obviously this is for right-handed thrower, so what should your block leg, block foot look like in front of the ring? If you're throwing the shot foot, um, especially in rotational throwers, um, I think that the, the, the toe board becomes this element that you can, that can help you throw. And so a lot of times you'll see uh, the left foot kind of a quarter of the way up on the toe board as this bracing, blocking action happens into a reverse and then eventually, or a non-reverse eventually into a, a reverse throw. Um, in the discus, it's slightly different. One, you don't have a toe board. And two, as you come to landing in the discus, this left foot's gonna touch down and typically it grounds out the heel because you've got so much time to pull the discus around you that you need this left leg to brace. Big thing that I see with beginning throwers is they never actually Ex get extension or brace or block on the left leg. So if you hear a coach talking about left leg post, this left leg has to become stiff so the right leg can continue to rotate into the discus, the shot foot. Um, without the left leg uh, becoming straight as you bend it, you're going to lose a lot of power because you'll never get to triple extension at the finish of the throw. So think about the left foot not rotating and not being bent. It's going to help you throw farther.